Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T. Let me move my parking thing now so y'all can see. Anyway, I'm at Sonic, y'all. I had to, um, I got, I'm out and about running errands and I said you know what before I go to the grocery store which is what I got to do later on I said let me stop by Sonic because I wanted to try their new pretzel deal so um anyway so that's what we're doing um I got a pretzel two corn dogs and a four piece mozzarella stick uh yeah so we're doing it and of course I'm in the car Oh, these are Auntie Anne's, uh, I guess, pretzels. Because this is the cheese dip that comes with it. And y'all already know. I want to try it first. So thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. For God's sake, amen. Yeah, I'm headed to the mall because it's um, Mr. Silver Fox's birthday tomorrow, y'all. Which is Friday. And so I said, let me, uh, I did something I'm going to get him, so. Let's go ahead on and do this. Oh, it's just regular um cheese dip. Ooh, uh, it's good too. It's got a rich taste to it. Let's try. Y'all see that? Ooh, it's trying to trying to fall apart. Oh my, that's good. Mmm. These are $1.99. Oh my God, that is so good. Mmm. Oh, it's soft. Oh my god. Let me roll this one up. Oh my god, y'all. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, let me just enjoy this right here. Oh my goodness, I might have to get me another one of these. That is ridiculous. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that's good, y'all. That's gonna get the claw. Here's the mozzarella stick. To me, Sonic has the best mozzarella sticks in town. I'm telling you. Better than most fast food places. I'm not even joking. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not even joking. Since we're in the car, we're going to have to do it flim flam style. And that's where we're going to take the ketchup. Whenever I come to Sonic's, I want to get something. I always ask for myself to be freshly made. Where's my mustard? Where's my mustard? Where, 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 where's my mustard? I want to open up that bad boy. Have it ready for each bite. Need to open it some more. I don't want it to skeet out. But anyway, I hope y'all have been having an awesome day. I'm just doing what I want to do, letting the day take me where I need to take me. I need to go to the mall, like I said. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. Y'all know what I want to do. Dip it in this cheese. This cheese got like a sharp ch ch cheddar cheese taste to it. Mmm. Put it down here. Huh? Mmm, that's good. This corn dog is hot. Mmm. Mmm. Now I just got a large water. Mmm. I just cleaned my car out yesterday. Well, I took it to have it cleaned out. Here I am dirtying it back up. But that's all right. Now that part down there, I like to, what I like to do is push mine up past the stick. But that part right there, yeah, we gonna gnaw on that. Y'all already know. But anyway, while I'm in here, I wanted to um just bring up something that um. It's going on on the YouTube streets. Um, Logan Paul. I know y'all saying, oh, the lady, she's jumping on the bandwagon. Listen. For all of you all who don't know Logan Paul, he's a very big, big YouTuber. He has, what, 16, 17 million followers. Well... He did a very controversial video about, I think when he went to, he went to, I, I don't want to misquote where he was, but I know he was on in the, on the Asian continent. Anyway, there's a forest over there that they call the suicide forest or the death forest or whatever it's called. It escapes me right now that I'm filming this video, but... Anyway, he did a video in the actual forest, and lo and behold, while he was filming, they came upon a person that had taken their life, and committed suicide, and they were hanging. And he actually, you know, uploaded the video and showed it on his channel. Of course, the backlash was, you know, you know, and rightfully so. The backlash was horrendous. It really was. Okay. But what I want to talk about, because, you know, as a as a woman, as, you know, just people in general, we know that that was wrong. That's somebody's son. Father, it could have been somebody's son, of course. Father, uncle, brother, co-worker, whatever. Um, and I think you have to have people in your life that give you pause. That you step, take a step back and pause. Granted, Logan Paul is a very young man. He's young. He's going to dip into these mozzarella sticks, please. Let me get my um, sauce. My sauce. Um, young guy. He's 22 years old. He makes, of course, a lot of um, money on the YouTube platform. And plus, he's probably got all kinds of merchandise and branding deals of course and anyway he did a um there's the mayonnaise sauce he did a interview on good morning america with michael strahan and he was just telling michael strahan you know um my understanding you know he did a couple of videos of apology video and he also did a video concerning um uh, suicide and you know these are the, some of the things that you can do to prevent it you know it, it, I actually went and watched the videos very good video and like I said all, anybody that's not familiar with Logan Paul a lot of young people watch his channel 
who has a huge following, a huge platform, and all that. I don't want to get up all into the details as it pertains to what do I think. Because I am a woman of God, and I love the Lord, and I'm flawed, just like the next person. But for the grace of God, I wouldn't have, I would have been on bus hell wide open because uh, of the second, third, fourth, fifth, twentieth chances that the Lord has given me for my, uh, the way I've lived my life has not always been uh, a crystal star, if you will. And I'm still learning myself. And I understand when you get on a social media platform, you do have to take pause and you have to think about what you're doing. Now, some people say, well, of course, he edited it. So you would have thought somebody in his corner. Because trust me, the kind of bank Logan Paul makes and the kind of um, branding he has attached to him. You know, we all can say, you know, somebody on his team should have said, you know what, man, let's turn this around, which is what he said he was going to do. And let's just, you know, wait before we try to actually show the footage of this man, you know, who had taken his own life. Somebody, let me get, get this other hot dog going, y'all. Corn dog. Somebody should have said, well, you know what? Let's not, let's not do that. I, you know, let's not do that. Let's not upload the actual footage. But nonetheless, it happened. And of course, Google preferred. And this is, look how awesome this is. How you learn stuff. Now, of course, I'm on this platform and I am eligible for monetization. That's why you see advertising going across. That's how we make our money, okay? Just simply put. However, when you get to a certain echelon uh, as a YouTuber or a creative, you know, creator, huh, you become part of the Google preferred. Uh, in other words, you, you're on payroll. <laughs> well, of course, with this controversy, Google and I went out and read the press release that YouTube made concerning when all this blew up that um, they pulled his account as a Google preferred account and just a quick synopsis what that is that is they're pretty Google is pretty much telling all advertisers hey Be assured that this particular creative YouTuber will put out quality content and they are a sure bet, if you will. I'm just, like I said, I'm just paraphrasing. I'm just, you know, again, it's out there for anybody that wants to read it. Well, when that happened, of course, Google was like, uh-uh, just like any other celebrity, any other company. If y'all say something crazy and to the left and you've got branding attached to you, yeah, they're going to pull their, their monies from your, your channel. And so now he's still eligible for the monetization, of course. But separate from that, uh, yeah, he, uh, based on how I was reading it and based on what he said on the Good Morning America show was that, oh, yeah, <laughs> they pulled... Uh, they're, they're, you know, I guess pretty much they pulled him from being uh, on payroll. In other words, because he's a vlogger and because he's a sure thing, uh, he probably was getting a check, you know, as, you know, a Google preferred account. So anyway, and again, I'm, I was just reading between the lines, you know. Um, so Michael Strahan asked him straight up. Mm. You know, Google pulled, pulled you, and Michael Strahan asked him straight up, hey, how, how does that affect your bottom line? And Logan Paul said, you, you want to know the truth? And Michael Strahan said, yeah. He said, uh, it hurts. So, 
they didn't get into all the numbers, but he did say, Logan Paul did say, it hurt, but he said, it's not like I'm drowning though. In other words, he let it be known that at least financially, with the amount of money he makes, thank God he had prepared and planned. So if anything go to the left, because the algorithm, look, I understand on YouTube, your viewers can love you one year and the next year if you say something crazy they may hate you and then that viewership it digresses from your from your account or from your channel uh, for whatever reason and uh so what you were depending on every month as a pay can be dried up quickly oh uh, but i do here's my okay i said all that to say this Here's my thought on the whole situation. One, was it wrong for him to post that type of video? Absolutely. Because again, you're talking about somebody's loved one. And for that to have been broadcast for the whole world to see, that actually was totally wrong. His viewers may have had family members themselves, people in their lives that had suffered that and they are still could have been coping with it and then boom your favorite youtuber posts something like that um it, it, it could be devastating so the blowback and the backlash was you know it was there i commend logan paul that he went ahead on and got out there did what he needed to do and people could say oh he just did that so he can get his money back okay well whatever the thing of it is i have to give him credit although what he did was horrible but again, he's 22 years old. I think, yeah, he should have had his team. He should have had better counseling uh, in place to say, let's take pause on this before. Because again, now, you know, they had to edit and do all that. I'm a YouTuber. I know how, to, I, how I have to edit out stuff too. So somebody should have been there to say, no, nah, let's just make, we're not going to show the actual footage. Let's just say this is what we walked up on. We're not going to show you the footage. Show where you sh where you're calling the authorities, and then you go into the okay. This is what you know. Provide the numbers, and um, again, he also donated a million dollars to um, suicide um, programs and local programs where he resides, and you know he's done a video on that. Um, but again. That is how, you know, he understands, you know, that, hey, he was ignorant of that type of, uh, the you know, the numbers of people who do this every year. He was just ignorant of it. And he, you know, and he, and look, he even told his viewers, look, don't try to defend me. Because, of course, you know, people who are your ride or die fans, but, you know, he was letting it be known. No, don't, don't, don't defend what I did because what I did is wrong. And, and, and I, so I commend him as a young man, a 22-year-old, to say, hey, no, nah, don't defend me behind this, but here's what I'm going to do. So I commend the young man. He recognized that he made a mistake, but I believe in giving people second chances. I believe that we all are flawed. We Listen, we can get on here, and everybody, of course, you like who you like on YouTube, but for me, I have to be real. I'm not going to get on here and try to pretend like everything is peaches and cream in my life. It just don't have, it, it, that, God don't even like for us to act that way. He wants us to boldly be able to come before him and be able to say, Lord, you know, I, I'm flawed. I screwed up. Help me. Help me get over this. Help me to make a better decision as it pertains to this. And so I know, you know, a lot of people think you're supposed to just, you know, not be real about stuff, but you know, that was his that was how he was you know he recognized he confessed hey that was that was pretty much and again i'm paraphrasing that was really bad of me a bad he said i'm a good person i just made a bad decision and it and he called it out for what it was it was a bad decision to do that and it was hard it hurt a lot of people i mean it went all globe oh it was global and it hurt a lot of people but at the same time what do you want what do you want to happen to him other than you know everybody go run and get him and and, and snatch all his hair out? i mean what else can the young man do other than to say look i'm sorry i screwed up now what i'm gonna do to learn from this i'm going to what get involved 
be informed, educate myself. So, you know, like I said, um, I commend the young man. Like I said, my, 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 my teenage, uh, granddaughter and nieces and nephew, they probably know who he is. I didn't know anything about who he was until this thing blew up. But then, like I said, I'm a, a good morning man. I, I watch that every morning, and he happened to be, and he happened to be on there. I said, "Oh, I'm a, I'm a watch this. I'm a watch and see what he says." And all you can do is say, "Look," and isn't that what we all want other people to do? When you make a mistake. Oh, it's a beautiful day outside, y'all. When you make a mistake, the only, the best thing you can do, acknowledge the mistake and do your very best to correct it, to learn. And if you have those resources to be a blessing to, to put more awareness out about something, hey, do it. Since you use that platform to put it out there, also use the proceeds and the resources from your platform to turn it around so it'll work for not just your good, but for all, the, all your viewers. So anyway, that's my take on it. And, um, and I live, matter of fact, doing the interview and after the interview, I just began, I just lifted up a prayer from, and I understand my channel is a peon, small channel, whatever, and he don't have a clue probably who Lady T Sensation is, but I want to just say this, Logan Paul, God bless you. And I pray that you learn much from what you did and what you're going to do. And I, and I, and I continue to lift you up in prayer that you make a difference that based on what you've learned that what you're doing now has stopped hundreds that we don't even know about or perhaps even thousands because of what you did because of what you uh put out there as an apology and put out there more awareness about it the different steps he did an awesome video different steps of what you can do to help people so I commend you, young man, and God bless you, and I will continue to lift you up in prayer because that's what it's about, you know? People, when you want to see, when you see people wanting to do better, that's when you get behind them and rally them. And even when they're not doing good, you still pray for them, lift them up in prayer. But that don't mean what your feelings about them aren't real. But I, like I said, um, Logan Paul, I'm proud of you, and not that you need Lady T to say that. But I just want you to know, uh, I'm praying for you. I'm praying that all, it will continue to work for your good. Um, and that, you know, this will be a stepping stone for you to learn, for you to catapult uh, different. And, and, and maybe this will stem out into other issues that we all face here. Whether it be suicide, drug addiction, alcoholism, whatever. But anyway, that's my two cents. We all have to have a hope in, that everybody can change. Everybody can do better. Mm. I'm going to eat the rest of this pretzel. Oh, that pretzel is the jam, y'all. But anyway, I just wanted to touch base on that. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Mm.
I'm uh, I'm real happy now. Absolutely fabulous. But anyway, the one thing he did say, he said, you know, he he heard it. I mean, yes, sir. He, he did say that. He said the very thing that he did the video on is what people were telling him he needed to do. But, again, I'm going to just keep the young man in prayer. You know what? Because, see, guess what, y'all? When I was younger, growing up, and doing a bunch of foolishness and, and, and all that kind of stuff, somebody prayed for me, you know? Somebody looked at Tanya and said, mm, I can't believe she got pregnant at such a young age and all that kind of stuff. But guess what? I had my mama praying for me. I had family friends praying for me. Um, You know, somebody prayed for you. Somebody prayed for you, you know? I know this is a, a, a deep car move bang, ain't it, y'all? But somebody, think about that. You know, even that this this recent mess I done had to go through and had to live, I, I still pray for her. Still pray for her. I mean, you just somebody prayed for you. You may not know. You may not even know who it was. It could have been a teacher. It could have been the 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 woman at the grocery store that goes in your checkout line and every, every you know every you know every once in a blue moon. Uh, you got to put something back because you can't afford it. Somebody silently is praying for you. And so, you know, I always think about that whenever people, when, when I see big blow ups like this happen, because, you know, I respect the community. I respect YouTube. It, 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 it's a nice little uh, side hobby that I love to do. I really do. It would be awesome if I was able to quit my job one day and do it and, and, and earn an uh, income and, and, and be able to be be blessed to be a blessing to be. Oh, it would be awesome. It really would, you know. But at the same time, I have to remember, you know, somebody prayed for you, Tanya. <laughs> you know, so I think about that when I see blow ups or I see big beefs on YouTube. I just begin. I go into prayer. I really do. <laughs> And I do what I can to help people, you know. You know, it's just like sometimes, you know, when you're out and about, sometimes people be asking for for money and you might roll up on a, uh, you're coming off the bypass and you see a homeless person sitting in the chair with a sign, I will, you know, will work for food or need money to eat and stuff. And a lot of people say, oh, I ain't going to get my money. Well, you know, that's fine. If you don't have it in your spirit to give to people, then don't. And, you know, don't feel bad about it, but, you know, you just don't feel it. But me, here's my thing. Once I give you something and I release it, and if you don't do with it what you say, that's on you, not me. Because I gave it out of my heart. I gave it cheerfully. And if I give you that $5 because you say you need to get a Happy Meal because you haven't eaten in two days, and you turn around and go buy drugs with it, even though you, me personally, I might know that might be a circumstance. That might be the result of what I do when I hand that person that money. But you know what? I can't, I, I don't live my life like that if I am giving it truly out of my heart cheerfully. And if once I release that money and I gave it, a, it, a, it an assignment, I said, okay, I'm going to assign that $5 to that woman or that man because they said that they need something to eat. See, I keep in mind, uh, the Lord said, you know, when a person tell you they're hungry, feed them. So it's in my heart. Now, if they, again, do what, you know, what with it that they chose, they chose to get that liquor or whatever, whatever it was. I released it. That ain't on me. That's on them. So sometimes when I have it, I'll give it. And some there's going to be sometimes I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do it. Because I also have to think about safety. They ask me for money while I'm bending down in my purse 
to get it. They knock me in the head with a hammer or, you know, and s steal everything I got. You know, again, you don't want to walk around with a critical spirit like that, but sometimes it happens like that. But anyway, I know I'm getting all deep, y'all. But yeah, like I said, whatever reason he's going over and beyond, talking about Logan Powell, to apologize because he's trying to get back in Google's good graces, whatever the case may be. The thing of it is, he's using now his resources for the good, and that's what you have to look at. Those people that watch him and won't even aware like he, because he said, I was just ignorant of it. I was just ignorant of it. So maybe those people that were watching, they also may be ignorant of it. And so now he's brought more awareness to those 24 million views or, or whatever. So, you know, you have to look at that. You can't just focus on the negative. You got to focus on the positive and then balance both of them out. All right. I'm done. I'm done. But that daggone pretzel is a winner, y'all. I'm going to leave the rest of this. Then I'm going to head on to the mall. To the grocery store. And then back to the house. Mm. That cheese is bomb, y'all. Auntie Annie's cheese. Mm. That soon don't came out. I was from the same little children over there playing on the Sonic Playground, but I forgot. Children are still in school. All right, y'all. I'm about to do it. But anyway. Y'all. Thanks for stopping on the flavor train because what? What? Flavor is where it's at. Bye, y'all.